All right, folks. I have somebody else wanting me to work some more examples of how to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, we've got three individual species here, so let's knock them out. All right, we've got sodium, and we've got sodium, and we've got sulfur. If you look, they're a little bit all unique. Um, these two have charges. This one doesn't have a charge. So let's start with the easiest one. So let me see. I'm going to make this easier to see by just drawing this out like this. These were the three that they gave me. So, all right. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Um, just looking at this, we cannot get these numbers right off the bat. Uh, they were nice enough to give us the mass numbers, but we're going to have to go and find the atomic numbers, which is the number of protons ourselves. So let's go ahead and do that. For sodium, uh, using a... Oh, YouTube. Wow. Imagine that. Um, I need my periodic table, which is this one. All right. Um, I need sodium. Hmm. Na. All right. Sodium is the 11th element on the periodic table, so I have 11 protons. That's my atomic number, so I'm going to put 11 there. I'm going to pick up my pen and write this. I've got 11. Okay. And ironically, this is sodium as well, so I can go ahead and put an 11 there for its protons. Let's just go ahead and do the easy stuff. Let's knock out sulfur. Okay. Sulfur is the 16th element on the periodic table, so I'm going to put a 16 here. Let me make sure you, you did see that. Sulfur. Okay. The 16th element on the periodic table. Okay. All right. Anyway, to get the number of neutrons, we're just going to take these proton numbers and subtract these mass numbers. 23 minus 11 is, what is that? 10 plus 11 is 21, 22, 23. So what about 12? Yeah, 12. Now what we should be able to do is we should be able to take 12 and 11, add them together and get 23. Let's see if we do. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 1 is 2. We do. Yay. That's done. Okay. Now, 11. Okay, we need to take 11 away from 21 and we get 10. Okay, so 10 plus 11 should give us 21 and it does. So we're good with that. All right, now, same thing here. We need to take 16 and take it away from 32. We subtract it or 16 plus 16 is 32. So these two numbers added together can give us 32. We're done. Okay, now we need to get the number of electrons. All right, since this thing does not have a charge here, okay, there's no charge then we need to say that the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons so we're going to put 11 here now over here though we've got a charge of plus one that means that it lost an electron so if you remember from the notes earlier we had 11 and we're supposed to take the 11 and then do the opposite of that charge and we get 10 so we have 10 electrons there. That's how we get that. Okay, now we have negative 2. The negative 2 means that we have two more electrons than normal. Okay, so we normally would have 16. But if you remember, you're supposed to do the opposite of what you see there. So we're going to add the two additional electrons to the 16. Because we, it takes 16 electrons to be neutral. Because we have 16 protons there. Okay. So since we've got six, whoops, whoa. Anyway, since we've got 16, oh, Lord of mercy. Since we've got 16 uh, protons there, we should have right off the bat 16 electrons. But we need to look, see if we got a charge. We do, we have two more electrons. So we write it's opposite there. We write plus two and that gives us 18 electrons. Okay. Anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. If not, Shoot me another message and I'll do another video. Alright guys, y'all have a great day.